nutritious it's simple it's packed with um you know vitamins and mineral mineral hi guys welcome back to my channel this is i am marie at today's episode gagawa tayo ng chicken wrap meal prep. So, Saturday ngayon at mag-meal prep ako pang baon namin pang lunch for the whole week. Kagawin ko na rin siguro yung pang breakfast para lang makita nyo at para may idea kayo. I hope you can find some ideas in this video. If you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Bye! Ito yung gagamitin nating ingredients. Meron tayong whole grain wrap, meron tayong zucchini, carrots, bell pepper, at syempre yung grilled um, or yung chicken thigh filet na i-grill natin mamaya. We also have hummus, red onion. You can also use aioli um, para kung ayaw nyo ng hummus. And then the spinach. So simulan na natin yung paggawa ng wraps. Okay guys, so painitin, painitin na natin yung oven into 180 degrees Celsius dahil ito yung gagamitin natin na pangluto ng ating chicken thigh filet. So nilaligyan ko na ng olive oil yung tray na may foil because dito natin ilalatag yung ating marinated chicken thigh filet na nabili sa market. Dahil tamad tayo mag at wala tayong time. Busy tayong tao. Bumili na lang tayo ng marinated na. Ngayon, kung marami kayong oras sa buhay nyo, mag na lang kayo para mas mura. At kung sobrang healthy nyo, pwede kayong gumamit ng plain lang. Tapos season it with salt and pepper. It should be okay. So, ilagay na natin siya sa oven para maluto na itong ating mga chicken thigh filet. Kung wala kayong oven, guys, pwede nyo namang i-pan fry na lang. Okay na okay lang din naman yun. And then, set the timer for 20 minutes at intayin natin maluto ang ating chicken filet. Once na maluto na ito, cut nyo lang siya ng strips like this. O, ba Ang sarap nito, guys. Pero, pwedeng-pwede kayong gumamit ng ibang protein. Uh, kung gusto nyo pork, kung gusto nyo beef. I prefer chicken lang kasi mas madaling maluto, mas, uh, mas healthy. Ayan. So, iset aside nyo lang yung mga nahiwa nyo na chicken thigh filet para pangsahog natin mamaya doon sa ating wrap. And then, now we can prepare the wrap. But first, we have to prepare all the ingredients na kailangan natin, like the onion. And we're also going to be using some zucchini. Now, the zucchini, guys, sobrang, it's a good source of folate and potassium. And it's really low in calorie, low in fats, low in sugar, low lahat. Debiro lang. <laughs> then cut it into strips dahil isasama natin ito sa wrap, of course. Huwag masyado manipis, so medyo kapala natin para crunchy. We are also going to be using some carrots. Now, carrots are really great source of vitamin A, which is good for our eyesight. And then, pagka nasa, natapos na yun yung, ano ba yun? You can also use some bell pepper, guys. Um, bell pepper are a great source of iron, of folate, of potassium, and, you know, a lot of other nutrients. But it's a healthy to and good source of fiber. So, yes. Ngayon guys, hindi nyo naman kailangan gumamit ng green and red bell pepper. Kung meron kayong green lang, go for it. Or red lang, go. Cut nyo lang siya into strips like this. At it would also add some crunch doon sa ating wraps. O ba? Super healthy, super yummy. So guys, ito na yung mga gulay na gagamitin natin. So we have uh, red onion, carrots, bell pepper, zucchini, and we also have the chicken. We're gonna be using some spinach as well some hummus, and our wrap na whole grain. Okay, gawin na natin yung wrap. 
I'm going to use some hummus as the base. Guys, hummus is super healthy because this is a great source of plant-based protein. Pero kung wala kayong makita nito sa market, pwede naman na siguro yung mayonnaise na lang. It would add some creaminess um, doon sa ating wrap. And then, isa-isahin nyo ilagay yung mga gulay na pinrepair natin kanina. Like this. Huwag masyadong madami kasi baka mamaya guys, hindi na magsara yung wrap nyo. Yung unang gawa ko nito, na-excite ako. Nilagay ko lahat. <laughs> Ang daming kong gulay na nilagay. Tapos hindi ko siya maisara. So, hassle. Anyway, pwede nyo lagyan ng sauce sa ibabaw. Like aioli, pwede rin barbecue sauce or tomato sauce. Just to add some taste and flavor. And then just wrap it up like this para secure. So guys, ulit-ulitin nyo lang yung proseso hanggang makagawa kayo ng pang isang linggong baon nyo. O ba? Diba? Para at least niyo na siya iniisip araw-araw. Healthy na. Madali pang gamit gawin. Tapos hindi ka mahalan yung mga ingredients. Okay guys, so ito yung ating finished products. As you can see, yum! Ngayon, ibabalot na natin siya sa foil para mas secure. Baka kasi tumapon yung mga sahog sa loob, ba? Diba? So, yan, secure nyo lang siya sa foil. Wala namang right way of, uh, of um, wrapping it. Just do whatever. Um, and then, after this, ilalagay ko pa siya sa ziplock para mas secure pa. Kasi ayaw nating tumapon siya sa bag, ba? Diba? Kung wala naman kayong ziplock, guys, plastic labo. That's the key. <laughs> Any plastic would be fine, alam yun, as long as mas secure niya siya. Kasi it can really be messy pag tumapon siya sa bag. So, tapos na. Ito na yun. Then, now, we're going to do our breakfast. Now, guys, I am doing chia pudding for breakfast. If you haven't watched my video on that, it's on, on the e-card up here on the top right-hand corner. You can click on that link and watch it. Now, I'm using chia seeds. It's a good source of antioxidant and plant-based protein. And I'm also going to be adding some almond milk. At syempre, lalagyan natin ng flavor to. So, depende sa inyo kung anong type nyo. Pwedeng matcha, pwedeng cinnamon, pwedeng um, peanut butter, pwedeng chocolate if you have it, or even coffee. So, depende sa inyo. You can experiment on whatever taste you like. Walang bawal dito. Um, you know, whatever works for you, go for it. Dagdagin nyo pa ng fruits, you can add some mangoes, bananas, strawberry, blueberry. And I prefer to add some maple syrup just to add a bit of sweetness to the chia pudding that we're doing. And don't forget to stir dahil para mag-plump yung seeds natin, para ma-absorb niyang mabuti yung milk. So guys, this breakfast is really, really nutritious. It's packed with nutrients and it's very healthy and easy to make. So there you go. You can also add something on top like a coconut, shredded coconut or um, almond flakes just to add a bit of crunch. Oh, di ba? There you go guys, so tapos na yung ating breakfast and this is actually good for 5 days for 2 people. And i-ref nyo lang siya at huwag kayo mag-alala dahil hindi siya napapanis kahit 1 week siya sa fridge. Ayun na nga guys, tapos na yung ating meal prep no for breakfast and for lunch ba on good for 4 days for 2 people. Paul. Very healthy, very easy. Sana nagustuhan nyo itong video na to. Sana nakakuha kayo ng idea or inspiration. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. And once again, this has been Aya Marie and thank you for catching up with me. Bye!